I'm Peter Block in Chicago at the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene. And with me is an old friend from Portland, Oregon, now in Southern California in San Diego, Barry Greenberg, a heart failure enthusiast for his entire career. Barry, you have a very interesting study concerning thrombotic events and anticoagulation in patients with heart failure. Tell me about your study and then tell me what it shows and what we should learn from this. So the uh, study that I presented was an analysis of the Commander HF trial, which looked at the effects of low-dose rivaroxaban in patients with chronic heart failure and recent worsening. And basically, this was a post-hospitalization study looking at low-dose rivaroxaban. The initial trial, which was uh, driven in large part by mortality, did not show a significant effect of rivaroxaban. However, in this analysis, we looked at thrombotic events specifically, and what we showed was that there was a 17% risk reduction in a composite of MI, stroke, sudden death, and pulmonary embolus or deep venous thrombosis. So let me just interrupt for a minute, Barry. Tell me what drove this, or was it equal across all the endpoints? Was there one that stood out? So uh, we tested for homogeneity, and there was no evidence that these were different. They were really all going in this similar direction. The main ones, though, were MI and stroke. Really? I would have guessed pulmonary embolism, but I'm wrong on that one. Uh, you know, we would have guessed that also, and it just didn't turn out that way. Pulmonary embolism was quite uncommon in the study. That's amazing. Well, okay. It is what it is. Science it is. is what it is. It is that's what it the, is. That's the cool thing about it. It always surprises us. So. Uh, sort of summarize this, what does it mean? I remember Ox is a great drug, we know that it does great things, and now it appears to be right for heart failure patients. Going forward clinically, what it, would you tell someone who is getting into heart failure in terms of how to use this drug? So I would look at it from the perspective of the other studies that have gone on with low-dose rivaroxaban that have looked at patients with atherosclerotic disease and showed a very favorable signal for low-dose rivaroxaban in reducing events. What this data shows us is that you've also got heart failure. Uh, that would not be a reason to withhold rivaroxaban in this population. I think there need to be additional studies looking at whether or not this is actually a favorable drug for using in patients with heart failure alone. So it's premature to say everybody who develops heart failure should be on rivaroxaban. I wish we could say that, but I think it's going to require more study. I'd key in on the atherosclerotic background and uh, put this in the context of the other studies, and then I think there's a very strong signal that this does have benefits. All right, so Barry, as always, is honest and pragmatic. I appreciate your coming. Riveroxaban certainly is something we should keep our eye on. Absolutely. Thank you.